Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from CGK.com and today we are going to finish this model up. What I want to do is I want to create the handles actually and then I'm going to just group this, save this to a library and then be done with this, okay? Now first thing I want to do is I want to go to the top view. Let's bring our reference back. Hit Ctrl Shift A to see that uh, always on top. Now I'm going to just create a rectangle and let's just set the dimensions for this to 3 by 3 you can even hit Alt Q or click here to isolate this so that the other uh, objects uh, won't be visible in the scene now I'm going to grab the line tool and what I want to do is I want to just create a section for this and then lay uh, create a 360 symmetrical modifier uh, model with lathe modifier okay uh, you know how it uh, goes actually we have used this in the legs of this model uh, I'm going to start from this corner here. You can hit S and start with uh, a snap or uh, you can just eyeball it. Uh, it's good enough uh, at this point. Both uh, is good enough for at this point. So I'm going to start here. Just go down here and then I'm going to just go back and then I'm going to just uh, finish this at the midpoint in here. Again, you can just grab a snap or whatever. I'm, I'm not going to do that right now and apply a lathe modifier on top uh, just grab the axis and just drag this to the to right okay and then I'm going to just fill this uh, rectangle we have created okay now there is a weird thing going on in here let's see what it is I'm going to go back to the line and just grab this and if I click on show end result then you can see that we can play with this line and uh, point sorry vertex and just bring this to the midpoint here and then just go to the lathe here we have a an option called weld core if you click this you will see that that point there or the hole uh, there has gone okay because it had welded the uh, required vertices after it created the lathe okay this looks a little bit cornery so let's go back to line again hit T go to the top view just click on the show and result button uh, you can even get rid of this uh, reference rectangle and isolate this uh, piece. Uh, I'm going to hit 1 to go to the vertex mode. Then I'm going to just grab all these vertices. Just right click, uh, hit smooth and then right click, hit bezier. This way you have these bezier handles. Now if you want to play with these green handles, you need to just click on the square here once. And then you can just play with these freely. Okay. If this axis uh, was selected, then you will you uh, would only be able to drag that in the x axis or any axis that is active. But if this square is selected or active, then you can just play with this, okay, freely. So let's try to create a more meaningful shape. And I'm fixing the position for these and the rotation for these, and then let's move this to left a little bit and then let's open this up a little bit move this down I guess this is good enough let's hit uh, show and result and see how it looks uh, I guess it looks good uh, you could maybe make this a little bit uh, more round at the end vertex over there but for now uh, maybe we could leave it I'm just going to show you how you can do it you can just turn this to a bezier as well and then just drag this to the left that way you will have a tangent in here uh, you can even delete this maybe and move this way left click on show and result and you can see that we have a round end over there okay so you can see that we can create different shapes with different type of or different series of vertices different uh, handle positions and everything so let's right click hit and isolate and we have our handle ready it's a little bit larger than I uh, originally thought so I'm going to uh, scale this down a little bit uh, let's place it first and to create a symmetry from this we can use the symmetry modifier we know about this from the legs again and what you can do is you can just add the symmetry modifier, go to the mirror sub-object mode 
and then just drag this to right. You can even use Alt A or Align tool to align this to the center. And you can just flip and you can see that we have both of those over there. Okay, let's uh, go back to the line uh, mode. Hit, hit Alt S. Alt S is a shortcut for me. Uh, you won't have this shortcut. It's uh, the shortcut for show and result. Uh, I, I guess I showed this to you, but you can go to Customize Hotkey Editor and in here you can find um, Show and Results. Here it is. And you can assign a shortcut to this. Okay, you can cl click here, hit, hit Alt S and click on Assign to create this shortcut. I, I, I guess this is the uh, one I use the most, <laughs> in my opinion. I'm not really sure what, I guess. So let's hit three to go to the spline mode and select the spline. Let's scale this down a little bit. If I hit Alt S again, you can see that we are making this a little bit smaller. Okay, and we can move this in and we can, we can move this back. Okay, let's see, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess they're good enough. Maybe maybe a little bit small, but whatever, for now. Let's turn all the um, colors to gray again. Maybe we can uh, increase the chamfer amount for these edges. I'm going to just uh, increase this to 0.1 so that I can just see these uh, edges a little bit better. Uh, other than that, I guess we are done. Okay, now let's group this. I'm going to select all these, like uh, hit, uh, I go to group group and call this I guess it's a coffee table right that's coffee table one maybe and I'm going to just close this now what I want to show you uh, at the end of this lesson is I want to I want you to create a library and from now on uh, whatever we are going to model we are going to save these model models 3d models to that library so that you can Later on, you can just bring that up again, just import it to your uh, project and just go uh, render it. Uh, it's very important to have a very big library. Actually, uh, for me, for example, I'm I'm also using paid libraries like Evermotion or Tur Turbo Squid. Uh, it's a very nice uh, web page. In the end of uh, this series, I'm going to show you how you can earn money out of modeling or uh, rendering. And I'm going to show these uh, pages, web pages to you as well. But for now, let's uh, just forget about that. Uh, what I wanted to say was I even use paid libraries for my projects because it's really important for as a 3D modeler or a render or a generalist, whatever. Uh, it's really important to be able to react fast what, uh, to whatever your customer needs. So uh, you just need to be able to just uh, get good renders in one day maybe uh, or two days. So you need to be really quick, really, really fast about this. So you need these um, ready 3D model libraries, okay? Whatever, let's create one and just save this uh, in, save this model in, okay? I'm going to go to uh, File, Save As, or even a better way it would be File, Save Selected, which will save the only the selected objects uh, in the scene. Let's go to the desktop and create a, a sample library. Let's right click new folder. And uh, here you can type in 3D models and you can just create a new sub uh, category called coffee tables, for example. And you can just save this in coffee table one, okay? And now you have, you started your first 3D model library okay you have some kind of a uh, folder structure uh, you th this could vary um, according to your needs actually you the uh, for example this could be like kitchen uh, furnitures or whatever like uh, living room furnitures uh, maybe the categories would, would be called would be called like that but uh, in my case I'm just going to call them whatever the model is okay and, okay, uh, and the second thing I want to talk about is 
please share what you do. This is very important because as an artist, you always need to get feedback, okay? This will improve you way faster than um, if you didn't have this. So you need to be uh, open to criticism. You need to be able, be able to share what you do. Uh, this is very important. So uh, whatever models we create after this lesson, uh, including this lesson, I want you to share them in a Facebook group called CGK. It's our Facebook group. Just go ahead and just join the group and then share uh, your models. I'm going to look at them. I'm going to write comments about them and uh, see. you will see that it will improve you a lot getting feedback from whatever you do. Okay. Uh, and uh, one thing you are really lucky about is that right now there are a lot of 3D uh, artists or in the internet and you can find them. You can just... Uh, ask them and you can share in groups like CG Cave and get feedback from real professional 3D artists and which uh, this is very very uh, lucky on your part because we didn't have <laughs> that uh, I didn't have that actually at least uh, while I was learning so this will make you a lot faster so, okay uh, make your improvement a lot faster okay thanks for listening I hope this was useful um, Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button if you find this useful. Uh, thanks for listening again. See you in the next lesson.